This mini computer features an Intel i9 CPU and it's the cheapest computer with this kind of performance and this configuration that I've seen. It supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, a 4 terabyte SSD, a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD and up to 4 displays. Whether you are looking for a mini computer for work or a supercharged mini server, I'm not really sure if we are going to find cheapest than this. The Minis Foro NAB9 comes with the Intel i9 12,900HQ CPU with 14 cores and 20 threads. This is a small beast. There are two models and several versions available. The barebone version at this moment costs 370 euros, allowing you to install your own SSD, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive. And it has a very clever system that we can just push these buttons. I can just lift it, I can work on it, put some RAM, the SSD and so on. And I can also insert the 2.5 inch right over here. And it comes with this cable that I can just insert on a computer. That's it, really simple. And really clever. There's also a version with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs for 487 euros and another with 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte SSD for 517 which is still very affordable for what this PC offers. Then there's the NAB9 Plus which is this one that I've got right over here and the main difference is this connection here which is the Oculink and this will allow us to connect this computer to an external GPU so that we can improve the graphical performance of this computer. But if you don't need the Oculink connection then the base version that we have seen is the best choice because everything else is the same. The internal configuration is exactly the same, the CPU and so on and so forth, which is amazing the price that it has for the performance that it offers. This is a machine capable of handling demanding tasks like video editing, for example, which is what I do, thanks to the powerful CPU that it has, the i9. In fact, if we take a look at Geekbench results, it will back that up. In real world usage, particularly in the Vinci Resolve, it performs similarly to some of the machines that I've got here. For example, my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro is more or less with the same performance and it's an incredible machine. And so is this one, but only at a fraction of the price. Now, I can edit really smoothly and export 4K timelines at around 60 frames per second, which is impressive for the computer that we have. And on the graphic side, it comes with an integrated GPU, which is the Intel Irish XE, which isn't focused on gaming, but I did test out Overwatch 2 and it runs perfectly. On medium settings, I did enjoy. So besides work, you can also enjoy some light gaming. And if you want a more game oriented setup then the NAB9 Plus is the one that we want. We just need to get the docking station, I'll try to leave a link down below, connected to the Oculink and that's it. We will have a computer capable of not only this kind of work that we have seen today but also serious gaming with AAA games. Power consumption that I've observed in idle is about 15 watts or so. I just started the computer so it's normal to have a few more processes and it jumps to 20 something, 30 and then we'll go back to the 16, 15 but normalizing at idle on a normal task we will see here power consumption of about 15 watts which is great for the performance that we have especially this base performance which is most of the time while we are browsing the web or we are doing a document in word but let's push it to the max and check it out and now all the cores being pushed out 100% on all of them on a synthetic benchmark and we can see that it will jump to the 94-95 watts which is a lot. I said that this is a beast so it can deliver a lot of work and when necessary of course it will also deliver this kind of power consumption which is obviously depending on what we are doing on the machine. Now it's really difficult unless I'm doing a really tough video rendering and even though it's not at 100% on the 20 threads that it has and at this moment it is on a synthetic benchmark. So it's really cool to see the power that it can push out because this is also tied 
to the power that it can deliver in terms of performance for the work that we are doing and it's cool so just stop the test and we are back on the low 15s 18s and so on so really really cool that it goes back to the 15. in terms of connectivity at the front it has two usb type a ports 3.2 10 gigabit and an audio output on the back two usb 2.0 oculink ports hdmi two times 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports display ports and usb type c for full Featured. And inside the box, besides the PC itself, it comes with the charger and accessories like the SATA cable that I used to place in this 2.5 inch mechanical hard drives. So whether you are looking for a mini computer to have some really serious work done as we have seen in terms of video editing, for example, or similar tasks, or if you are looking for a mini server for your setup that we have seen quite a few right over here but you want something on steroids which is the way that i look at this mini server then this is a great option and the best is that the price at least as far as i'm aware is one of the best that i've seen hopefully you've enjoyed to know the nab 9 plus and also the nab 9 as i mentioned i will leave some links down below if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one